Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about confusion matrix in Python programming language. So please stay tuned. So here's the first question. Why do we call it confusion matrix? Because first of all, it's a matrix and it shows how the model has been confused with that data. And the second question is, how do we interpret these numbers? So let's dive into it. So as you can see, we have two labels, minus and positive. So we can see negative and positive, negative and positive. So these are the actual labels and these are the predicted labels. For example, this 50 means that we have 50 cases which the actual label was negative and we have truly predicted negative. And this 10 means that there were 10 cases which the actual label was negative and we have predicted positive. And this 100 means there were 100 cases which the actual label was positive and we have truly predicted positive. And this five means there were five cases which the actual label is positive and we have predicted negative. And here is another question. What do we mean by FP, TN, TP, and FN? Let's start with TP. TP means that, for example, here, there are 100 cases which we have truly predicted positive, truly positive. As you can see, the actual label is positive and we have truly predicted positive. So there are 100 cases which we have truly predicted positive. And this truly negative means there are, there are 50 cases which the actual label was negative and we have predicted negative. So this is truly, we have truly predicted negative. And this FN means that we have falsely predicted negative. And this FP means we have falsely predicted positive. So falsely positive, truly negative, truly positive, and falsely negative. So it's very obvious that an ideal model is a model that does not have any false positive and false negative and all the values are true negative and true positive but this is an ideal model and it's very hard to see a model which is ideal as you can see now we have 10 false positive and 5 false negative in this example so now let's calculate the confusion matrix for this problem which we have talked about in the previous videos so now we simply type from sklearn that matrix we want to import confusion matrix and then we want to use confusion matrix and we should pass y true i mean the true labels the true values for y which is here y test i mean the values for our test data and the predicted and the predicted labels are y pret there it is and the labels are zero and one zero is the negative label and one is the positive label zero means the customer doesn't buy and one means the customer has bought the product so we want to store the results in a variable let's say called cm in my mind cm stands for confusion matrix and now i want to print something for example i want to say i want to print confusion matrix confusion matrix and here i want to print cm which is the confusion matrix so if i run the code and now we can see here's the confusion matrix and this accuracy is the result of this line but these lines produces this part which says that the confusion matrix is this and this means that there are 27 cases which the actual label was one and we had predicted one and there were 62 cases which the actual label was zero and we have predicted zero but there are some cases for example here you can see there are uh, six cases which the actual label was zero and we have predicted one and there are five cases which the actual label was the actual label was one and we have predicted zero in the next tutorial we are going to talk about the normalized confusion matrix which is very important